left, the guy on the right shoots a sow on the right, and we try to put the sows down. And there's actually an added benefit to it. The, the young pigs, which a lot of people think, oh, we're horrible people because we kill young pigs. Right. But a, a female pig can start to reproduce. She becomes sexually active at seven to nine months. Not years, but right. months. Right. So if we can kill the sows, that disorients the rest of the, the sounder. Absolutely. And we can actually really increase our totals. Um, of what we kill, and a lot of times we can kill every one of them. Right now, they could once be, they become able to reproduce, then they can have litters how, how frequent? Every they can have uh, three litters in a 14 month period. Wow, so you, you all can understand the exponential equation. There. Oh, yes, it's yes. just phenomenal what two two pigs can do yeah. in a year. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like the sow I shot yesterday, she had two little pigs with her. That's rare, that's rare. Uh, the average is probably in the wild. In, in a wooded territory, it's probably around six or seven. Wow. Uh, and it, I've, I've noticed over the years that I, I refer to, to pigs here in Alabama uh, in two categories. I refer to them as woods pigs and farm pigs. And the difference is food. Right. If you've got a pig that's living on corn and soybeans and peanuts, he's going to get up to 300 something pounds. Oh, yeah, he's, he's eating high on the hog. He's <laughs> high on the hog. <laughs> If, if he's living out here in the woods, living on grubs and acorns in season and, and uh, persimmons in season and blackberries in season, if he gets to 200 pounds, he's a monster. Right. That's, that's just the way it is. And the same thing goes on the offspring, it seems like. Uh, the sows that are living on the peanuts and soybeans have bigger litters than it seems like the ones in the woods do. Right. Uh, the ones in the woods are just as mean. They're, they're, uh, they're great to shoot great to hunt uh, and let me talk about that a little bit we we don't use the word hunt very often we try not yeah. to this is not conservation we're not trying to manage anybody's pig population we're trying to control it right and we mean by controlling it we want to keep that population as small as possible uh, we're not out here trying to grow big boars um, we're out here to kill them all. What, what do they say? The um, It's in the mil millions of dollars. What's it, Alabama? I read this on the internet the other day, flying in from Ohio. It's millions of dollars of damage. Uh, just damage. in the state. But just it's in the billions, state, Alabama. Billions, billions, billions nationwide. nationwide right. 56 million or something in, in Alabama. the state of Alabama. Yeah, or, which I, is, I don't hold me to that, but it's, right. it's something. Millions. I, yeah. I think I saw a study recently that, that, that says they could do up to like $300 per pig per, per year. Pig. Yeah. Damage on crops. Damage, right. Well, you've seen it firsthand. I, I didn't know this before, but on a freshly planted soybean, corn, peanut, yeah. they actually go down the furrows, huh? They will right. actually hit a row and just and stay go on that down road. the row. Huh. It's amazing. They'll, and they'll get every seed. Uh, we had a landowner call us back in uh, April this year. He planted corn and they destroyed 80 acres wow. in three nights. And he thought there were hundreds of pigs. Huh. Yeah. And we went out there and killed, I think, 26. Right. Uh, trapping and shooting. Right. And, and, a, uh, and a farmer don't have the luxury. You know, he's got to, you know, he's got to buy that seed. Oh. And he's got to plant it Diesel, again. Diesel. Diesel. Labor. Fuel, all that. Equipment. Yes. And even if his insurance pays for it, it don't pay for his time. Oh. And uh, you never come out. No. You know, he's not going to come out. Uh, and every time he claims all the insurance, his rates go up. Right. Right. 